Hello people, what's happening? It's a red dollar graphics. Thank you so much for coming back if you are out here. And if you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that's been nice when I drop a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the basics of Core Draw design, like Core Draw himself, the layout, all of that, basics of Core Draw. So if you are super passionate about learning Core Draw design, then this video is basically for you. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be, not, so as to be notified when I drop a new video because in this particular course is going to be of three. I'm going to divide it either three or five. I don't know. Like, let's see how it goes first. Cause this corridor is so 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 complex. Yeah. So yeah, do subscribe to this channel if you are to subscribe. And without further ado, let's just dive into our core draw and start it. So, we are, of course, we are going, we are going to launch our core draw over here. Mm, this place where I have it, yeah. I'll just go ahead and double click on it to launch my core draw, yeah. And it's most done. Boom. Here we have it. So, this is the core draw interface. Like this place where I have my this place where I have my all of this this place where I have all of this like wedding this wedding program over here annual blah 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 all of this this is showing me the work that I have done previously on core draw like this like if you have already worked on the core draw on this on your core draw and you close it this is going going to come up like this so like this and over here are the templates that, called, that this code came with so over here we have the plus button that is to create a new document and over here at the bottom we have open document let's say the document you work on you want to continue working on it and you don't have it here at this place to open it to so you can just basically if you don't have it here you can just basically come over to this place where it says open document and open it up choose the location where you stepped your where you stepped your the where you stepped your project like the project you want to work with, work work with and you want to continue you can just basically select it like then continue working like that yeah i have it like this open so this is to open an existing project that you've worked on before so i'm just go ahead and close it so we have to go back to this place and explain the rest of them and over here is new from template that is this one is the one core drop came with like if you want to open up this is here all of that if you want to go ahead with to, if you want to go ahead and use the like you, you want to go ahead and use the template that core, core drop provided for the users yeah you can just go ahead and use it of course yeah and we have them over here a lot of them we have logo template we have a lot a lot of them so let's see i want to open up this one i want to go with this one i just go ahead and open it in this place where it says open and then we have it like this you can just go ahead and make some changes you can see just type in your name you highlight it then let's see it on last you can just basically work on it like that so yeah so i'll just guide and close it again so that i'll be able to explain the rest of them like that so so let's say you don't want to open an existing document uh, and you don't want to open from template that code provided for you so you can just go ahead and come over to this place, this place where you have your plus sign over here and create a new project new document rather anyone you want to call it so you see all over the side where it says name and just go ahead let's see let's just put it for the sake of this story as practice we have it practice so over here we leave it at custom and this place where it says number of pages i have it at five let's say i don't want it five i want it three or three like this so okay page view of course i'm going to change i'm going to pick this page um, view i'm going to select this one if i select this one that means i'm going to be seeing a three pages 
like that the number of pages like you see i have three over here so if i choose this one i'm going to be seeing that three pages like that but i'll simply I'll go ahead and choose this page view i'll choose this single page like this so we have my primary color mode if you are if you are designing for printing i will advise you to normally stay as cmyk but if you are not designing for printing i will advise you to stay as rgb so we have the page dimensions we have the, at aces you can just basically go around and change it to your desire your desire size a4 a5 anything that you want to do the size so the unit of measurement i will advise you to always stay with inches of course so let's say you want it portrait if you don't want it portrait you can just go ahead and change it to landscape and if you want it if you chose on landscape you can just go ahead and change it to portrait so I have my resolution at 300 yeah I have my resolution at 300 dpi I just go ahead and say ok and I have a boom over here like this so that there, there are actually multiple ways of opening new documents in Core Draw. So this is the number one way by all means of open up, up creating a new document in Core Draw. So over here at the left side of my Core Draw, over here like this, I have my tools bar, like I have my pick tool, I have my shape tool, I have my crop tool, I have my zoom tool, I have my Club that free hand tool, we have rectangle, ellipse tool, we have polygon. Don't worry, we are going to work through all of this. You are going to understand what everything works for as far as you are along with me. Okay, and even if you are a college user for and maybe you are missing up some tips, then this video is basically for you. I totally explain everything in detail. Everything is just coming up for you. Okay, just make sure you turn on the notification bell so as you be notified when next I drop a new video. Okay, yeah, so we are going to walk through all of this. So as I said at the left here, we have my we have the tools bar like this. Over here we have our tools bar. So at the, at the top here we have our menu bar where we have file, edit, view, layout, object, effect. We have effect, okay, come in. But we have uh, effects, we have effects, we have bitmaps, we have text, and we have table, tools, windows, and help. Yeah, that is our menu bar. Remember, I said here we have our tools bars, and at the top we have our menu bar. So underneath the menu, right underneath the menu bar, we have our standard bar. Okay. I guess so. Yeah, we have a. Uh, standard bar okay we have our standard bar where well, we have our okay let's see i don't want to go through the process that, that i went through while creating a new project like start naming it practice number of pages that i want the resolution the number of pages i can just come over to this place once i click okay without going through that process i can just go to this place and click it you see it's gonna pump up with that same option that i went that i should doing that process so I know let's just go ahead and create another one so you have to see it over here you see we are basically having a two document we have untitled one and we have practice so let's stay at our practice and close this up like this so won't be confused so we have our open okay if you like i said i sleeping i already explained this like if you want to open an existing document on your desktop on on your core drawer can just basically come over to this place. don't worry i'm going to explain every single thing in this standard document um sorry standard bar over here like this so over here we have our property bar whatsoever that you selected let's say i selected triangle of course going to give me the properties of the triangle over here in my property bar okay like i told you i said this place is your property bar so once you select anything it's going to give you the properties of that object that you selected in your property bar okay any single thing that you selected is going to give you the property on your property bar okay make just make sure that thing you select that thing you drew is selected and it's going to give you every single property of that element in your property bar okay so yeah this place is basically our property bar you see where you have that a5 you can just go ahead and change it to your own desire 
size that you want to work with so yeah you see this white black space that are over here like this this is called our workspace i tend to call it my project but it is called workspace and how you want to put it you can call it document you can call it workspace you can call it your project any one that you felt is okay for you, you can just go ahead and call it that way so yeah we have our menu bar we have our standard bar um we have our property bar and at the, and this place at the left we have our tools bar okay we have our tools bar over here at the left at the top we have our menu bar don't forget that please do not forget this we have our menu bar we have our standard bar and we have our properties bar okay property bar we have our tools bar and at the right hand side of the corridor we have our color palette okay all of these ones like this all, all this place i have my one two three um this narrow stuff over here they are all and they're like properties of an object let me select this you see the property you see so if i go to this property i'm going to see all of that you see i can basically walk around them the way i want it to look i can just simply trick it i like go ahead and do it the way i want it in this place okay so that is what these things are basically for okay so i have my color palette i have my rgb color over here rgb color and over here i have my cmyk for printing and if i'm not for, if i'm designing for not printing for not printing purposes i tend to stay with this rgb color i would advise you tend to, if you know you are not printing a job okay tend to stay in this rgb color mode and if you are designing for printing then of course it is cmyk you should use so yeah and over here at the bottom i have my status bar status bar status bar yeah i have my status bar i want this class to be so interesting okay i want this to be so interesting that i'm kind of just some kind of voice okay yeah so let me let me get rid of this yeah so yeah this is the basics that i think you need to know so in the next video i'm gonna show you i'm gonna explain every single tools that i have my tools bar for you because i don't want this video to be too lengthy and i don't want it to be so confusing so this this one that i just showed you just make sure if you are just if you are super passionate about learning corridor design and maybe you just come across this video and you really want to learn you want to go into corridor design like you want to create turning designs to just make sure you know all of this that i just explained so you don't have to start going around like going about if it starts um skipping from one that and listening to another so in the next video that i'm going to do i'm going to explain the two the uses of the tools bar okay what the tools bar is meant for what the tools bar is this for okay and the, after that i'm gonna do a video about the menu bar the use of the menu bar all of that is all of this that i'm just talking about is just basically for like beginners you, you don't know where your way out I'm, of course i'm sure you will really love this video okay remember we created three pages the other time these are the three pages when we are inserting the number of pages yeah of three pages let me draw this one over here so that you won't be confused and fill this one with any color that i okay then let me go to the next page let me draw a triangle like this then change the color to something like this like okay like this then let me go to page one then draw let me just type in something here yeah let me just type in there and put it here so i can explain for you you see this flip at page one i have reasons the reason then page two i have my ellipse to my circle then at page three i have this my box over here like this so i just want you to understand what the page is all, it's all about you can have page one you can have you can have page two and page three remember when we were creating the page we inserted the number of pages that we want so this is basically what the number of pages does for us okay yeah see you in the next tutorial thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial